as far back as as 19 as the mechanical bride which was 1952 McLuhan was talking about what he called electronic feudalism and said the world will fragment and it seemed completely unlikely because the United Nations was on the rise these vast power <laughs> blocks were squared off but I think it's clearly happening I think that federal Europe is a dream it will never happen it's dead the people reject it it's only in the glass ministries in Brussels that the heart beats fast for European federalism now it's finished but MTD Russia is, is falling apart but over it's the not planet. a state Russia is. is falling apart Russia will become what the Soviet Union was 15 separate warring factions uh, 32 out of uh, 36 northern California counties voted to separate from Southern California. <laughs> Canada is falling apart. And strangely enough, meanwhile, at the top in the world of George Bush and John Majors, there's a feverish uh, enthusiasm for unity, for great trade blocks and wide-flung negotiation. This is clearly a last-ditch effort to keep this globalism together and you know Yugoslavia is a bad example obviously but uh, it was the inheritor of great power rivalry I think that Czechoslovakia that dissolution is the one to watch because here people simply want to rule their own turf and after all why shouldn't <coughs> they like one of the most suspect notions running around is uh, free trade Free trade is a notion that people, right-thinking people of decent upbringing are expected to stand up and salute. What free trade means is the right to sell crap everywhere, <laughs> the right to deal Coca-Cola in Afghanistan. That's what free trade is, the right to sell Volvos in Turkmenistan. It's uh, a bad idea, free trade. We don't want to make trade easier. We want to make the manufacture of objects an excruciatingly expensive process and the moving them from one market to another damn near impossible because <laughs> what we want is the dematerialization of culture. What free trade means is turning the entire world into a uh, marketplace for high-tech uh, uh, pre-obsolescent durable goods and yet you know nobody points this out at all people uh, what and what's going on in the American economy is that over the past 12 years under the aegis of the crypto fascist republicrats an enormous transfer of wealth has gone on to the top three percent in in 1980 six Americans had more than a billion dollars. In 1992, over 80 Americans have more than a billion dollars. Meanwhile, most Americans have gotten considerably poorer because the money which was not transferred to the super rich was transferred to the third world. The great leveling which the left always called for has in fact taken place in part and that's why you have less money because you when the leveling took place did you think it was going to kick back into your pocketbook you haven't visited Bangladesh recently so a whole bunch of manipulations have gone on which uh, tend to I think support the idea that nations are being looted and dissolved by ethnic factionalism and corporate hegemony and that in the future these are the two things that will exist and uh, you know people will um, it's a Japanese model basically I mean in Japan your corporation is your identity if you're really embedded in the culture and the nation state I'm not sure whether this is a bad thing or a good thing I mean the nation state has become a fascist tool all nation states what these companies stand for is unbridled gangsterism but on the other hand that's what political revolution has often meant in the past so it's a 
it's a complicated situation. The world is feudalizing, fractioning into uh, interest blocks at the same time that technologically, you mentioned MTV, technologically it's being knit into a single psychology.